Welcome to Technical Studies. Due to the heat input during welding, deformation may happen to the bottom and annular plates of a storage tank. There are several methods to control these deformations. In this video, I will show you some methods in the welding sequence. There are several tools available in the market for storage tank erection and welding. Please watch my other videos for making low-cost tools. The link is given in the description. Assume the annular and bottom plates are laid on the foundation of the storage tank. Let us learn the sequence of the welding. Start the welding of the annular plate alternate joints. Provide key plates at a maximum of 350 millimeters apart. Complete the remaining welding. Don't remove the key plates until the weld joint is cooled to atmospheric temperature. At the same time, the short seams of the bottom plates also shall be welded. Avoid welding of two joints if they are closer to each other. Reduce the number of passes. Do not over weld. More weld deposits may cause more distortion. After welding the short seams, start fit up of the long seams alternately. Do not fit up all the joints at a time. The long seams shall be welded from center to sides. Leave 300 mm unwelded at the ends of all long seams. These unwelded parts shall be welded after the annular to bottom plate welding only. Don't provide too heavy supports for the long seam welding. These supports shall be flexible. ISM C100 or 125 is the best choice. Complete the welding of the annular to shell plate joint. This joint shall be welded slowly as possible but with fewer passes and minimum required welding only. Fit up the annular plate to the sketch plate joint. Complete the welding. Weld the 300 mm parts previously left unwelded. Thank you for watching. Please comment. Good day.